All right, here we go with another random pack, and I actually almost forgot to select the pack and started a golden pack run there. So um, I did record some live random packs the other day. Whether or not any of them get uploaded, I'm not sure yet. But um, we get a good start here with uh, two two threes and Moth, which is basically a 3-3 three, three on turn one, and so you're taking it 100% of the time. Um, and then a great shop on turn two. And I think uh, I'm going to keep the seahorse. I've been um, keeping seahorse a lot when doing the random runs. Um, there was a long discussion the other day in the official Discord about which tier ones are the best. Um, and I guess it's one of those uh, conversations that really, it, it depends what you're talking about. Do you mean which ones are the best for um, setting up for the future? Which ones are the best if you keep them long term? I think if you're keeping a tier one long term, Seahorse is by far the best, and it's not even a close contest. I mean, Moth and um, and Mosquito are both decent as well in the late game. Um, probably Mosquito better than Moth. Uh, although, to be honest, getting, you know, even just getting, what is it, um, plus six attack from a Moth in the late game, it can be worth it. But Seahorse, it has just this unbelievably strong ability um, which I just don't understand why it's still a tier one after all this time. But there are so many builds that it just absolutely dismantles. And I'm not going to put a counter on screen because that's going to drastically increase the time it takes to edit this video. But uh, just, you know, take a note of it yourself. How many times we ruin an opposing lineup with the seahorse. And actually, we've already done it once. I think there was a team that had Ant in fourth position. And so we moved the Ant to the back. But uh, that last, last team was a standard jellyfish team who just uh, didn't have enough versus them. Now here, there isn't anything that faints for the opossum to sell onto. I get the choice between double orangutan or double lynx, and you know I'm not going to take double lynx on turn 5, especially with pug on board. So um, I'm going to go for the road less travelled and take the double orangutan, and just play a, a 4 squad for now to make sure that the... Um, the other units are getting uh, as many buffs as possible. Uh, there's not much the seahorse can do against ox. Ox is absurdly strong. Um, in custom packs, you basically remove all of the limitations that ox has. And really the only limitation it has is the fact that its starting stats are bad. With uh, all the various options you have available in, in customs, you know, strawberry, kiwi, um, you can use hatching chick like they did there. Um, you know, clownfish, all, there's so many ways to make ox extremely strong very quickly. And um, so we, we lost there. However, here we did uh, mess up the camel hippo setup. So um, score another one for the seahorse. And I'm going to buy sell the octopus because I don't want the orangutans to buff it. And I think we might as well just go for the level three pug. And I'm going to freeze double cheese. We're going to have a decent amount of health. So let's just um, improve our attack a little bit by using um, the cheese. Again here, Seahorse completely ruins this team because of the, uh, the positioning of the crane. I think uh, in, a, in a later game, I actually lost to that team um, because they got the crane activation. It, this tends to happen when you play a whole load of games in rapid succession, you get matched with the exact same opponents. We face another four squad and the seahorse again completely destroys this lineup because the penguin gets moved behind the elephant and they, they miss out on the elephant camel synergy. So we'll take the level up. White Tiger and Spinosaurus both don't really apply here. Um, I kind of was really tempted to use White Tiger. I mentioned it again recently that it's very, very rarely seen in um, customs play now. So that generally makes me want to take it. And there's also shark there, which I thought might be interesting with double orangutan buffing its health straight away. However, we just don't have enough feints for it to be worthwhile. And um, it's probably too late to replace a lot of the units now. So I'm just gonna carry on statting things up and look for something else for the fifth position. But we get another cheese in the shop, so I mean, I might as well just go for putting cheese across the entire board here. Another elephant team that immediately gets messed up by Z-Horse. Um, 
some of these rounds, rounds I don't know for sure if I would have uh, won anyway, even if I hadn't um, interfered with the opposing lineup using the seahorse, but um, it's still very, very noticeable when it uh, it ruins the opposing team composition. So we're still running four squad on turn 10. And because I'm not checking what's, you know, what we get on the level ups, I don't really know what's available. Seahorse pulls Shark to the front. And um, however, this team did have the level three muskox. Just one of those things. It's just the same as Jellyfish. You've just got very, very little chance going against that unless you are also running the same uh, type of um, build. So I've got one level two orangutan. We're just going to keep on applying uh, health buffs. And I think here I, I cast my mind back to turn five where I passed up the double links and I decide, look, we haven't seen anything better. We have the level three pug. I'm just going to have to throw links in and see if it will um, make a difference. So here I think um, I think we actually could have won that or tied um, if the snake didn't kill the pug there. But uh, unfortunately, it uh, didn't work out that way. Um, buy sell zebra and i think um i think here i really should have bought sold the mongoose but i wasn't really paying attention um i should have just bought sold it and taken uh, television because we still have enough turns left that it would have activated but instead i just buy the links and freeze the cheese because i'm going to go for the full cheese team i've been doing that quite a lot recently um i, I had the full pancakes team in uh in pack two and since then it, it made me think about which um foods there are that you're very unlikely to ever see a full team of opponents like i mean you see full melon or full um uh, pepper or lemon maybe not all that often but it's not unheard of whereas a lot of the um food items in the game it's almost never uh practical or, or it doesn't really make any sense to have a full team of them so obviously, actually, I don't know if it's passed already, but steak is in the pack and steak is clearly better than cheese um, for all of these pets that have less than uh, 20 attack. But um, we're, we're going to carry on with, with cheese anyway, since I've already spent the gold on it. And here our high health pays off. We mess up the shark team. Uh, what's the count now for number of um, auto wins as a result of seahorse? So uh, yeah, there's the steak, but it's way too late. I'm just committed to all cheese. And um, it's kind of funny seeing the really lopsided health and uh, very, very low stats, uh, very, very low attack. German Shepherd, um, why don't you just come to the front? And uh, they do have a lot of uh, respawns here with the mushroom. However, the high health means that the Lynx is able to double kill two uh, level two buses despite having um, only nine attack and the uh, orangutans finish the job so full cheese team with a random pack I thought that was quite amusing and because of that I then had a few more games where I was trying to do the same thing and here is full pie team this had been uh, really good dromedary scaling on the raccoon and the uh, gorilla and the octopus uh, we get matched with um, an unfortunate opponent here that has the woodpecker that uh, wipes the whole team and of course they have to have lionfish as well so we had a 2 HP loss there I think our stats just were a little bit too low um, and then here's another random pack clip that I thought was quite amusing this is the first time this has ever happened to me and um, you know <laughs> I've played so many hours of this game but here we're gonna face a team that has one trumpet and they get the sloth instead of the golden retriever uh, so, I mean, I've seen a, an awful lot of sloths lately, but that's the first time I've ever seen one of those.